Oh, hello, Diane. Yeah. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. How's everybody? Hello, everybody. We have lots of people attending. I'm very excited. My name is Luba Samrik, and I am one of the estheticians here at the Bankston Center for Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery. And I miss everybody. Thank you so much for sharing your Thursday with me. It's more like a breakfast for me, but you know, we call it lunch. So here we go. And Diane Confield is um, with us here today as well to talk about the Zio line of medical skincare products. The reason why we wanted to talk about it is because it's one of the fabulous um, medical grade skincare lines that we have here. And Diane personally converted me to this line and I absolutely love it for those of you who know me, know how much I love this line because I've never seen the difference in my skin after using any other line of products. Uh, my skin changed really fast. I could, I was getting compliments on it and I have a pretty good skin and been using good skincare products for a long time. So remember Diane, when you had come to Jesus talk with us, um, yeah. it's been like six years maybe or something yeah. like that, right? And you said that this line is absolutely amazing and Diane's skin looks always absolutely amazing. Diane is one of the most glamorous women I know. So I thought that she really knew what she was talking about. And I went home and um, I committed to it. In the process, I actually had to give up my Latisse because there were so many steps and it was so overwhelming at first because I was trying to correct something that it's kind of like was like learning a new language all over again. But I gave up Latisse. I stuck with the products. Um, I don't remember how many steps I was doing at the time. And um, the rest, as they say, is history. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the unique uh, features of this line, Diane? Absolutely. So welcome, everybody. I'm Diane. I'm the account executive for Zio in the state of Michigan. And I'm thankful that you're all here today because you obviously either are using the brand or are familiar with it. Or for those of you that don't know about it, we have this time to educate and teach you. Um, it is a medical grade skincare line that is primarily sold into plastic surgeons offices and um, it is to change the health of your skin. We have a product collection ranging from anything for acne, anti-aging, hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles. Um, we have different body treatments, we have chemical peels, we have amazing sunscreen. So it's a whole entire collection of products to help treat skin conditions as well as skin issues and concerns. Um, and I think today what we were really going to start to focus on is just getting back to basics with getting skin ready, which is our basic cleanse, polish, exfoliate, tone, sunscreen. So I know that we're going to spend some time talking about that, but then we also wanted to tell you down in the chat box, right on the right-hand side, where everyone is saying hello and good morning and all of that, we welcome all of your questions because that's what this is. It's time to just spend together, ask questions. We want to educate you and help you in anything that you have concerns or issues with or thoughts um, since we've all been quarantined. So it's just nice to get together. Obviously, we all miss each other. We miss the human touch. We miss a lot of our normal. So um, that's kind of what we wanted to do today is just spend some time answering questions, going over some things. So yeah, and um, you visit if you guys have, uh, if you've been doing a certain skincare routine and you have questions because I know, you know, things kind of get forgotten and also right now it's springtime. So we thought it would be kind of have a, a nice refreshment course. Um, and I will start and I'll kind of show the products too. Um, once again, this is just a basic, basic skincare routine. Uh, it's not, we're not trying to fix anything. We're just trying to maintain. And also um, the beauty of this basic uh, products is that the skin is uh, going to become healthier um, in the process. So Dr. Obaji, the creator of this line, he um, doesn't believe in traditional moisturizers because he thinks that um, they make the skin lazy and the skin stops producing its own hydration. 
So um, he also believes that majority of people have normal to oily skin and only very small percentage of the population has truly dry and truly sensitive skin. So based on that, he created a line of product that um, the basics include um, cleanser, toner, scrub, um, a lotion that helps to protect the skin and repair the skin, and of course, sunscreen. So the line, this is the full size cleanser. Um, another great thing about the line is that it comes in travel sizes too. So this is the travel size. This is the full size. Um, products last forever. You don't need a lot. Um, so the cleansers, we have three cleansers. There is exfoliating cleanser, gentle cleanser, and a hydrating cleanser. Uh, with cleansers, you know, you're supposed to use them obviously twice a day, morning and night. Um, some people believe in double cleansing. Um, it all depends, I think, on the individual. If you wear a lot of makeup or in the summertime, I think it's a great idea to double cleanse because you wear more sunscreen and a lot of sunscreens are water resistant. So you really need to get it off. I personally use exfoliating cleanser in the morning and then the hydrating cleanser at night. And then if I am doing something to my skin that makes it you know, dry and sensitive, I just use the hydrating cleanser twice a day. The exfoliating cleanser has little beads in it. Um, I don't know if you can see the little um, jojoba beads. So they help to exfoliate and absorb the oil. It foams a little bit. It's really nice. Um, another thing about that I personally love about the products is that they feel and smell nice. I grew up on French um, skincare and French are known for their scents and packaging and all of those things. So for me, scent and texture and packaging is very important because if it doesn't make me feel good, I'm probably not going to stick with it. But that's just me. So then the hydrating cleanser is more kind of a creamy, kind of lotion-y um, cleanser. It really helps to dissolve the makeup. And then the gentle cleanser is more like a gel. It's not going to strip your skin of its essential oils. It's just going to dissolve makeup very, very nice and gentle clean the pores. And you, you need probably about that much of cleanser. Don't you think, Diane? That's that's plain. Absolutely. A little, a little long way. A long way. Yeah. Your bottle of cleanser will last you a good four to six months easily. Yeah. So longevity of the product is amazing it is and it's um with the cleanser you kind of get sick of it because it's just going on and on and on and because i use two cleansers that last me like double the time so i'm like oh still the same cleanser the packaging gets all kind of you know not so pretty and but whatever it works so the second step is more like a toning step um once again because dr baji doesn't believe in um in super dry skin he believes that oil is the enemy of the skin oil oxidizes on the skin oil also you know clogs pores and oil kind of creates a barrier on the skin so the active ingredients are not penetrating very well so in order for us to push all those great antioxidants and all those great ingredients that are in this line we need to kind of degrease the skin to make to make products work better so they are oil control pads and then their complexion renewal pads they both look kind of like this they're a little um round pads inside of this jar so oil control pads are used for people with oily acneic skin and they are uh, like this both oil control and complexion renewal pads and you just basically you know wipe your wipe your face, neck, and decollete with, with the pad. Um, I suggest people to cut this in half because, you know, half is still plenty and it goes a long way. But um, like I said, they will help to improve absorption of the product. And you will also be very surprised at how much dirt will still come on the pad. I don't know if you can see it or not on my hand. Can you see that it's like kind of turned gray? And I have very clean hands. I wash them like all the time. So that's what the pads do. They also exfoliate very lightly. Um, they're really 
really nice. Um, so oil control for oil acne skin, it's great for your teenagers who are, you know, too lazy to do anything else. Um, at least they can do, they can use this. And then there is a complexion renewal pads for more kind of normal skin types. Um, I use complexion renewal pads. I also like to use calming toner because sometimes the pad is just a little bit too much or it's winter time and my skin tends to be a little bit more um, dehydrated. It's just a liquid, um, nicely kind of freshly scented lotion. You can just use it with like a cotton pad after your cleanser. So cleanse, tone. Did I miss anything, Diane, so far? No, not yet. Um, there was one question, and I know Maria also answered it, but I just want to check into it really quick. Robin had asked, what if the skin, um, what if the scrub was too abrasive for her skin? There's a couple things you can do. Maria answered it perfectly, but the other answer too, you can mix it, um, Robin, with your cleanser a little bit. So you can emulsify it. So that way it just kind of buffers um, that aggressiveness. So try that too. So that's one thing you can do. Yeah. Because I'm watching the... Um, as well so if they come up i'll let you guys know. yeah and so we're getting to the scrub so the third step of getting skin ready is a scrub and we have two different scrubs you have exfoliating polish and then we have dual action scrub and once again this product's common um travel size this is for example a dual action scrub so there's still plenty of products which is a great option i think uh exfoliating polish is probably the most loved product of the line, don't you think, Diane? It's one of our top sellers. It's one of the top sellers across the country. It's, it's an amazing it's product. It's amazing. It's been featured. Didn't it win Good Housekeeping Award too? Um, yes, which is it did. Really, really cool. Um, you can keep this in the shower. It's a very, um, it's a very kind of gentle exfoliant um do it on wet skin in the shower and just very very gently kind of move the grains um don't put your face underneath the shower stream to rinse this use your hands pay a little bit more attention to your kind of nose and chin and your t-zone area but this leaves the skin super soft and polished and just amazing um the thing with this too is when you're using um your retinol and you start to peel and flake and you know it's kind of hard to deal with that this polish and scrub does an amazing job of getting all that dry and flaky stuff off revealing your nice fresh skin so you're not going to be um you know putting makeup and other products on that dead layer it's kind of hard to do this <laughs> in this kind of situation yeah, like a wet paper towel would be great. Thank you. Yeah, because you're, and it's so funny because you're doing back to back to back, so you're getting everything on your hand. Right. So yeah, and I don't have. This is kind of like skincare and like camping situation. I don't have any water. I don't have a sink. I've got nothing. So it's and polish, awesome. Um, twice a week in the morning would be great. Um, when once again I personally go through a period uh, in my skincare when I'm doing a lot to it and I'm peeling and flaking and kind of a hot mess, I use that every morning. And I also sometimes if I'm going to go out at night, um, I will come home from work, I will wash my face, I will scrub again, put the rest of my um, skincare products on, put makeup on and, you know, and go and it will, it will help my skin to not flake. Um, so the and it is great for those of you who um, are either using retinols or have had a chemical peel or something lately and your skin tends to have a little bit of excess dryness, it's great to just get that light layer of flakiness off the skin. And then what it's also going to do, it's going to help for better penetration of your other ingredients. So if you're using vitamin C or growth factor serum or something else in your treatment regimen, that exfoliating polish is going to just help those penetrates, but those products penetrate better into the skin. Yeah, so. it's great to add to your current skincare routine. If you're doing something else, it's just really great for all skin types, pretty much all skin, you know, mm -hmm. visions. So that's for everybody. That's 
exfoliation polish and then we also have for more acneic um oily skin types it's um dual action scrub it's right here this is great for clogged pores breakouts um it has salicylic acid in it the beads are a little bit different um they are a little bit more kind of round and foaming it's kind of liquidy so um, it foams once again great to do it in a shower um, and with the dual action scrub you will want to leave it on maybe for like two minutes or so and let those acids work and penetrate um, into your pores kind of you know massage it in leave it on wash your hair shave your legs whatever you do in the shower and then rinse it off and sometimes it's also good to alternate too you may need dual action scrub in the summer when you are more oily and when you have you know sunscreen on and it clogs your pores and then in the winter you can go to the exfoliating polish so just kind of mix and match mm -hmm. and adjusting because your skin is never the same you know your skin today will be totally different from your skin a month from now so that um, and the dual action scrub is also really good for back acne yeah. for teens that get a lot of that back acne you can use it in the shower anywhere in the body yeah great idea. that's amazing also probably for you know those bumps on the backs of your arms too that would be great mm -hmm. to kind of just get you know skin sloughing and also the pads are great for the bumps on the arms as well too so this brings us to the product called Daily Power Defense, which is also um, one of the foundation layers of the skincare. This is a very light lotion, has antioxidants. Um, I don't have a travel size, but the size of the travel size of this product is this big. So you still get a lot of product and it lasts about probably I don't know, two months, the travel size of this. Yeah, if absolutely. Not, if not more. Um, this has, like I said, it has your antioxidants. It also has ingredients to repair your skin at night and to protect your skin from the damage caused by free radicals during the day. It's a very, very light lotion. For most people, this is enough hydration. If there is not enough hydration with this, you can always do um, an additional hydrator on top of this but what i find with this is you usually need two pumps probably about this much for your face neck and decollete area and it's just a very um like i said nice light lotion i'm going to put it on my elbows too because i actually want to show you the difference i hope you guys will be able to do it to, to see it in the in the situation in the setting so i've been doing everything on my left hand and not on my right hand so i don't know if you'll be able to see the difference in my hands or not but it's actually quite noticeable so this is the hand that's funny okay. it's just the difference from you putting product on one over yeah, the other so this one is all like dry and chicken like and this one is nice yeah. <laughs> it's like a chicken claw <laughs> It's funny. So um, that would be uh, the lotion. Uh, you can use it morning and night. You can use it only in the morning and then use your retinol at night. Uh, you can use it really whatever, you know, whatever works for you. And then since it's summer, I would also suggest using a vitamin C product. And this vitamin C, what I like about it is that it has two types of vitamin C. It has a water-soluble vitamin C and it has oil-soluble vitamin C. So both of those um, ingredients work a little bit different. And another unique feature of this product is that it has no water in it. So, you know, water is kind of usually main ingredient of um, products, of skincare products. Usually it's like number one or number two on the ingredient list. This has no water. So what it means is that it's way more potent than other uh, products out there on the market. It, it um, activates the moment you apply it. And with this product, um, you apply it on top of your daily power defense. So this goes first, this goes second. Um, I think Zior is kind of a, another thing about 
zero line is that I really like to stick with this line altogether. If you want to see the results with this line, you really should be using this by itself. You shouldn't be like adding products from other lines because we don't know how they're going to interact with each other. And the way of applying products, it all depends on their pH balances, this line and their molecular weight. So that's why this product goes on top of the daily power defense in this line. Because usually, you know, if it's a serum or vitamin C, you know, product, it should go on first in other lines. With this, it goes on top of the daily power defense. Um, and it's kind of, it almost feels very silky, kind of like a primer almost. It's really nice. It might be kind of a little bit tingly um, at first, but then the tingle goes away and it creates a really nice, smooth texture for your, um, for your makeup or for anything else that you're going to be applying. It's just kind of a silky, smooth, very, um, it's kind of like an instant gratification product because it just feels so great that you're just kind of like, oh, wow, my skin is baby soft. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, vitamin C is used to brighten the skin. So especially heading into the summertime, even after the end of the summer, we get all the little freckles, we get sun damage, we get pigmentation. That is going to help with those dark spots, those brown spots, those freckles and whatnot. Obviously, all of this stuff going on on the chest that we get, um, it is going to help brighten the skin and do obviously other things as well. But um, every single solitary person should be on a vitamin C daily to help with the integrity of the skin, the brightening of the skin, the pigmentation, the unevenness of it. So yeah, it helps vitamin to C collagen, it helps to stimulate collagen production. It works really well if you use the retinol at night. And then vitamin C helps with collagen stimulation in the morning during the day. Once again, I'm looking at my at my hands, guys. Um, it's like even the color of my left hand, I think, is different. Really, my right hand looks kind of like almost purpley, I feel like. And the texture is um, obviously different. But this is really, it's kind of cool to see the difference. All right. So we talked about... Cleanser, toner pads, um, scrub, daily power defense to protect, uh, which brings us to the least expensive and the most important anti-aging product um, that everybody should be on, and that's sunscreen. If you're not going to do sunscreen, you may as well just, you know, throw in the towel and just use, I don't know, baby oil or something like that, butter, I don't know, whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Could be like... No, could be like signing no. all the episodes with Kramer. Remember where Kramer is like uh, bathing in butter and shaving with butter? <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Um, I think we got a Just... question. Luba mentioned being able to use a moisturizer over the daily power defense if needed. What moisturizer is recommended? I will, I'll get back to it um, and I'll answer that question a little bit uh, further. And also this is guys, this is just kind of a basic like Zio Skin Health 101. This is just absolutely basic. This is not, we're not trying to reverse. I mean, we're not, not reverse, but we're not trying to correct any, you know, personal um, concerns. We're just trying to kind of get it very, very basic. And then if you are interested in doing another, um, for us to do another webinar with something that will be a little bit more advanced, please let us know and we would be happy to put something together because this is just kind of like a, just the first layer of this um, incredible line. Sunscreens. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't have all of them here with me. But I do have three of them. And I will tell you first about my, my personal favorite because that's just, you know, how I am. And my personal favorite is the sunscreen and primer. It's um, SPF of 30. The beauty of the sunscreen is that not only it's a primer, but for me personally, it's, um, it's also tinted. So it has a little bit of tint to it. It's a, kind of like a lazy day product, I call it, because I just apply that on. I put my concealer, I put some blush on, and it's enough for me to kind of even out my skin, and I feel like it makes me look, 
you know, a little better than when I woke up, but also um, not, you know, I don't have to like spend time blending my foundation and doing the foundation and all of those things. I'm kind of lazy that way. So the this sunscreen is mineral sunscreen. There are two types of sunscreens, right? There is mineral sunscreen and then there is a chemical sunscreen. Uh, with medical skincare, we prefer mineral sunscreens because they're more gentle. Um, they're not irritating. They're not going to burn your eyes. They provide you with better protection. They don't create inflammation in the skin. Um, you know, they're usually titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. And nowadays, not only we have to be worried about the sun outside and the sun, as you know, comes in through even the windows, but we also have to be worried about blue light coming off of our mobile devices and our computer screens and TVs. It's like, you know, we should probably wear sunscreen at night. Probably would be good because how many of us are looking at our iPads or phones, you know, before going to sleep? So this sun is the protect you from the blue light. I think that one thing that people don't know is studies are now showing, obviously UVA, UVB damage comes from obviously the sun, um, but now we are getting daily damage from HEV, which is the lights in our homes, our computer screens, like Luba just said, our phones. So we think that we're being protected from the sun when we go outside, but in all actuality, HEV light is going deeper into our skin than the outside rays, therefore causing more damage, which is horrible to even consider because not only are we now getting damage from being outside, now we're getting damage from inside, from our computers and our screens. So all of Zio's sunscreens have um, ingredients to protect your skin from HEV light or HEV rays. Yeah, so, and Colleen said, this is the, this sunscreen is the best. I cannot live without it. I completely agree. I love this sunscreen. It's just so, so nice. And for those of you ladies who do wear a foundation, like I said, this is two in one products. It's sunscreen and a primer. So how, how easy is that, right? Now for people who exercise outside or you are boating, swimming, you know, doing outside, running, um, doing those type of activities, you may want um, a sunscreen that is a chemical sunscreen because a chemical sunscreen tends to be a little bit more um, sweat proof and it tends to stay on the skin better. So we have two types of um, chemical sunscreens. We have Daily Sheer. And we also have the Smart Tone. And the difference between these two is the Daily Sheer, it's just a sheer sunscreen. Um, it goes on completely invisible, um, just super nice and super light. This is a really nice sunscreen for, for men too because it has no tint to it. It's, it's very, very um, obviously see-through. I just can't get over how nice my hands look, you guys. <laughs> I keep like admiring them. And then we have awesome. a smart tone, which might be better for, um, you know, even guys who want their skin to look more even, or, you know, once again, ladies who exercise. And this sunscreen goes on um, kind of white out of the tube, but then it blends into, into the skin and uh, it takes on the color of the skin. So you can see it's a little bit more um, kind of make it's buildable. It has blendable color. So for someone that um, likes to be a little more tan or someone who's ethnic and has a little darker skin tone, um, what you will find when you put sunscreen on darker skin, you get that gray kind of ashy look because the titanium and the zinc, they're white and they're minerals. So they tend to make the skin look a little just ashy and gray. So that sunscreen actually has buildable color. So the more that you do rub it, the darker it gets. So it's really good for um, women and men of color or darker skin tones. So moisturizers, or as Dr. Obaji likes to call them, um, hydrators. Oh, yes. Sorry. That's right. We don't have to. That's okay. I didn't. I wasn't sure if you guys had it yet, so we don't. I, but I think they do because somebody, Jennifer, posted that she absolutely loves this product. Awesome. So, you guys, this is our newest, latest, and greatest. It is our powder SPF 40 sunscreen brush. So the great thing about this is 
It's a retractable brush. So you can carry it with you wherever you go. I'm going to try and put it this way so you can see it. Um, and the thing that I love about this, if you think about it, um, let's say you're going to a, a wedding or a garden party or a function or something, an art fair, you're not going to reapply liquid sunscreen over your already done up makeup, right? So pop this boy in your bag. It's adjustable so you can control how much product comes out. And then you just throughout the day can touch up over your makeup and get sunscreen. 40. And this is brand, brand new. We literally launched it maybe two weeks ago. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. The other feature that I absolutely love about this brush is the brush head comes off. It's magnetic. That is so awesome. So it's nice because you can wash this because you guys, brushes harbor bacteria. That's why we always tell clients and patients, you have to brush to wash your brushes because a lot of the times when women come in and have breakouts and their skin is just not doing too well, a lot of it is their makeup brushes are clogged with bacteria. And so you have to wash your makeup brushes. So I love the fact that this pops right out because if it's has product in it, how are you going to wash the brush? You kind of can't because it'll ruin it. But we've thought of that. So I cannot. There you go. And it comes with three shades. There's light, medium, and dark. Um, so you have to check it out. And it is available. I know they have it at Bangston's. I'm pretty sure you guys have it in stock or you just recently got it in. Don't mind me. Nice. I can't wait to get my little hands on it. It's just, I'm so excited because somebody said I, I don't reapply sunscreen on top of my makeup and i agree sometimes it's so hard especially with liquid products because you don't want to ruin all your great work so with this you know you're going to have i got caught in so many you know so many times just having lunch outside and you know i don't want to make a big fuss about no umbrella and so i just you know i just go with it but i'm like oh i don't have sunscreen I applied it in the morning. Right. I'm burning, burning here. You know, I feel like I'm going right. to uh, melt. So I'm so excited. About and the thing that. is, like Luba had stated in the beginning, if you're using medical grade quality skincare to take care of your skin and get your skin in good condition, you have to protect it. You have to protect that investment because sun damage is the worst for your face, for your skin, for your body. We all know that. I mean, that's how that's how we get aged. That's how we lose the elasticity in our skin as we get older, the pigment and the darkness. So you have to protect it. So we had a question about melasma, if it would work for people, if the sunscreen would work for people with melasma, right? Which sunscreen is best melasma? Which sunscreen? The best sunscreen for melasma patients would be the one that you would actually use. So it's, you know, all of the sunscreens are perfect for melasma patients. Um, but this sunscreen, you know, two factors um, when it comes to sunscreen, you have to apply enough of product and you also have to reapply it. So in melasma, you know, it's not only the sun that will activate it, but the heat alone from the sun will also activate it. So sunscreen is very, very, very important. Um, it's just, you you know, really with sunscreen, it's a personal preference. It's uh, the sunscreen that is, you know, cosmetically elegant and the one that you love using, the one that's not irritating your eyes, not irritating your skin. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of mineral sunscreens. Um, that new brush, that's also a mineral sunscreen. And it's just, you know, being very diligent in um, applying and reapplying sunscreen when it comes to melasma. Um, For those of you when, I think we had said this earlier in the call, we will definitely host more calls if we, because I've seen some posts coming through like, well, we want to learn about that and we want to learn about this. So we can definitely set up future calls to talk about chemical peels, anti-aging, fine lines and wrinkles, melasma, hyperpigmentation, just because um, obviously those are concerns. Yeah. And especially heading into summertime, we need to start getting ahead of it to obviously prevent and correct. Absolutely. And also, you know, another thing too is sunscreen and, for example, and well, and vitamin C is that vitamin C actually 
improves performance of sunscreen too because sunscreen protects you from uva uvb and the blue light and this will protect you from free radical damage that's associated with with life in general so this is also a great product for people with melasma as well because you want to kind of you know protect your skin from all of those aggressive factors uh, so another um the question that we had I, I i think nothing works as well as the melasma protocol in this line too by the way if we're talking about melasma melasma is hard to treat and try hard to control and this line creates amazing results. I have melasma too, and I once again have never seen the difference in my skin with anything else but the products from this line. But this will be for another day. Melasma is kind of complicated and tricky. So let's talk about uh, moisturizers or hydrators. Um, first, I would like to introduce you to the product called Growth Factor. Growth Factor is a great anti-aging serum that helps to actually make the um, outer layer of the skin thicker. It helps to stimulate collagen. It helps with fine lines, wrinkles. This is awesome, amazing for the neck area. Um, another thing that I love, remember how I talked about packaging and products and scents. I love that these jars are pumps actually. So you don't dig, you know, product with your dirty little finger. It's just more, you know, sanitary. Sometimes if the pump isn't working, if you got it out of the product, it's not working, kind of hit it on a flat surface a few times and it will make it, it will activate the pump. But this is, um, a serum it's kind of like more like a gel type of a product it smells really good you guys um it's very very silky i'm going to put it on this arm because i'm still trying to get over the difference in my hands and this product can be used on top of the daily power defense as well in the morning and at night and this will probably give you enough hydration because it's kind of a hydrating product. Also with the line too, um, because like I mentioned, the line is designed to stimulate your own hydration from the inside out. Sometimes you'll need a moisturizer or hydrator, sometimes you won't. It just depends on the time, you know, the time, the place, the you know, lifestyle, things like that. So the longer you use the line the more hydrated your skin is going to be in the beginning you may experience a little bit of dryness a little bit of tightness a little bit of kind of like oh my god my skin is looking worse than when i started but don't give up just keep going because it's going to get better you just have to be patient there's no no instant gratification with skincare if you want to make your skin healthy and this is what this line is all about it's making your skin healthier from the inside out so if this is not enough if the growth factor is not enough or if, you, if you're not uh, if you're trying to kind of keep it a little bit to more i don't know minimum or if you want something like a traditional like heavy you know moisturizer cream like my mom is kind of like that she's old school she wants something like heavy you know um we have two well three things we have renewal cream which is a white um, cream it's kind of a little bit more day cream a little bit lighter but still very very luxurious once again it's a pump um, very nice very hydrating and then there is another product called recovery cream and i don't have it it's a, the jar looks just like this but it's a little bit heavier it has shea butter in it um, it's great for at night or you know you can use it during the day too if you prefer a heavier product and then you will apply it on top of once again daily power defense and on top of your vitamin c and on top of your daily um gross factor serum and we also have which is my personal new kind of a favorite um because i've been doing all kinds of crazy things to my skin which is why i'm wearing the scarf because my skin is a little red on the neck <laughs> um, so okay. I've been using the hydrating cream and this is a really nice um, super soothing super calming 
hydrator that also can be applied on top of the daily power defense and on top of your vitamin C. It has oatmeal in it, so it's very, very soothing. After a chemical peel, this is a great product. Um, in the beginning, when you are starting to use this line and there is some anticipation, anticipated reaction might be happening, this is when you're going to be using this as well. Uh, even people actually with oilier skin can use this cream because it calms the oil glands, calms the skin down. Did you have something you wanted to add, Diane? I did. I was going to say that product also um, is endorsed and supported by the Eczema Society of America. So it's really good for psoriasis, eczema, dry skin patches. It's really good for bug bites. Just it soothes the skin and it calms the skin and it takes that that redness out of it um, and that sensitivity. So any type of skin conditions and skin issues, post-procedure, like Luba had said, dry patches, it is an awesome, awesome product. It's really, really good. Um, somebody's asking if we have two ounce size hydrating cream. Um, I believe we do, but yeah, we, yeah, do. We, do. We, we usually carry it. I don't know if we have it in stock right now or not, but you may you know, call in and ask. It's the best right. starter product to get if I can only afford buying one item at this time. Oh, that's a hard question. It's kind of like, what child is your favorite? <laughs> that is hard because we get asked all the time, what is your favorite product? And if I could do one thing today, what would it be? Um, and that really depends on more of a consultative approach because we need to know kind of what you're using and what your skin conditions are and what your concerns are. However, we do have, and I don't have one right here, but we have a getting skin ready kit. And in the kit, you get a cleanser, a polish, um, complexion pads, and a daily power defense. So that is basically everything that we've just talked yeah. about minus yeah. the, the sunscreen. So I think if you're like, I want to try it, but I don't know what to try. And I have a cleanser at home, but I don't want to, you know, mix and match, that would be a really, really good place to start. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, and it's it's really hard to pick just one, but I do think if you've never used Zio before and you're interested in starting on that road to getting your skin in good shape and condition, that would be a good place to start because we have also done um, before and after case-by-case -case studies with just the getting skin ready and the, the difference in the befores and the afters after just six weeks of a clinical study are pretty amazing. And which is interesting because you wouldn't think that just washing your face and exfoliating your face daily would give you significant change, but it it does. Yeah. So it's yeah. a really, really good place to start. Yeah, and I think that kit is really, it has travel size products and I think it's only like $120, right? Something yeah. like that. Exactly. So it's a really really great way to try all of the products at the same time because once again i feel like with this line in particular you really need to kind of go big or go home like you're not going to you will you'll right. notice the difference in your skin but the difference could be so much better and so much more amazing if you you know stick with the whole regimen and even like basic regimen like the gates and skin ready kit will still give you um, the results and will still make your skin feel softer, smoother, brighter. Right. Just, you know, once again, like looking at my hand, it's just been like amazing. And whoever asked that question, we have the Gideon Skin Ready, which is just your cleanser, polish, oil control, and daily power defense. Mm -hmm. Then we have one up from it, which is all of those exact products with a growth factor. Yeah, so we've got so anti-aging kit and the kit has a full size growth yeah. factor in it so if you were debating between the two like luba said i think the getting skin ready kit is around 129 um the one up from that which is the anti-aging kit with the full size growth factor i think is 204 so you're getting all of those amazing products plus a full size growth factor serum and i think the full size growth factor serum is right around 140 so it really just depends on um yeah. your commitment to the protocol and changing your skin. Cause that's the thing you guys, I talk to a lot of patients and accounts and I say to them, you have to use it. It's like a gym membership. If you go to the gym and you work out really hard today, you're not going to see results tomorrow. It's, it's a commitment, it's dedication, it's consistency. And if you start using these products, just like going to the gym in the next four to six weeks, you're going to start to see your skin changing. So 
I hear women all the time say, oh my gosh, I've got stuff under my sink. I could sell you skincare products. <laughs> and I believe it because you know, we are consumers. We just buy, we yeah. order stuff on TV. Like We go to Sephora, our friend tells us about something. So it really is, you just have to be dedicated and disciplined to the routine and do it. And then the other thing is so many people say to me, oh my gosh, Diane, but I don't have time to do four things on my face every day. I get it. But literally I explain and I say, it's like washing your hair. You get in the shower, you wash your hair, you condition your hair, you wash your body. That's three products right there. I think we just have to get that out of our mind because once you get into the routine, it takes three minutes at the most. And, and hair is, you know, hair is hair. You can get a wig and you can be fine. You can get fake teeth, and, you know, but skin is something that you wear 365 days yeah. a year. And it's not going to get any better if you stop taking care no. of it. You know, it's the largest organ. Yeah. And you can An investment. yeah, you can make so you can make such a big difference by following a skincare routine. And yeah, it's like brushing your teeth. And eventually, you know, like I feel guilty if I'm too tired and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do it. And then I'm like, okay, come on, snap out of it, you know, get it done. Because you just you don't feel the same. Your skin doesn't look the same, doesn't feel the same. And what does Dr. Baja say? If if you want to have fun, have a martini, real skin health takes work and you know it's true like yeah. i said instant gratification put a lipstick on but you have to work to have good skin another thing that i wanted to bring up too it's kind of springtime right now is a great time of the year to you know to kind of get back into it it's time to renew also it's a good time to go through your medicine cabinet and get rid of the products that have expired you know Check on your sunscreen, it probably is expired, or you know, you probably were not using enough last summer if you still have some left. Uh, most medical grade products have expiration dates on the bottom, so this expires 09 2021. So, you know, check them out, make sure that they're still good and fresh. Um, another thing that I would recommend uh, for you guys too, if you're not using something you know all the time maybe put it on the door in your refrigerator so it's not sitting in your medicine cabinet and uh, losing its efficacy and in in your refrigerator you know like right next to the ketchup or mustard or whatever but you know, <laughs> keep it in a dark place and it's going to keep it at a constant temperature too so the humidity and the constant temperature change in your bathroom it's not going to ruin your product so that's another tip that i have for you this this to speak to that about luba it's funny that you say that because um for those of you that are on the call you probably will not not use it you know because it's such an amazing skincare line and you get excited you get excited when you start to see the change in your skin where you want to use it more and then you're like okay I need an eye cream. So then you get on an eye cream and then, you know, four, six weeks later, you call up Luba and you're like, okay, Luba, guess what? I need to try this. So um, I love the idea of saving the product, obviously for the expiration of it. But I also think that once you start using this product, you will use it. You, you're you not not going to want to use it because even like Luba just said, there's days where I go to bed and I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up and wash my face. But I love the way my skin feels when I do. So yeah. Um, that's just a suggestion. Oh, yeah. Um, also, somebody asked if uh, it's an expiration date or shelf line. This is an expiration date on the bottom. It's not a shelf life. I think of unopened products is usually like two years or so. But this is the two years once it's oxidized. Yeah. And the other thing, ladies, if you're going through your medicine cabinet or your skincare underneath, uh, you know, wherever you keep it and you are finding things that are expired, I always just say, use it on your body, use it on your feet, use it on your legs. Skin is skin. Like, For sure. I don't know if I would want to use an expired product on my face. Yeah. However, don't throw it away. Elbow, you can still use it. Use, a yeah. you know, yeah. use it up. Yeah. yeah. Stuff. This is something, you know, skincare is an investment. And if you bought something and you're not crazy about it for your face, yeah, use it somewhere else. Um, we had a question about the firming serum. We've had a lot of questions about the firming serum. Yeah, it's a it's a would you like to talk about it, Diane, a little bit? Oh, uh, this is 
I love this product. This is one of my favorite, favorite products. So you guys, someone I think also Jennifer noticed the DEJ and what that is. So what the firming serum does, I'm putting it on my neck as opposed to my hands, but I'll do kind of what Lula is doing. Um, it is a clear gel, right? Um, what this product is going to do, it is going to help with the collagen and the elastin in your skin. And the easiest, most generic way for me to explain this to you is um, it's almost like when you take two slices of bread, right? And you put peanut butter in the middle. You've got your dermis and your epidermis. This product is going to live in between those two layers of skin or cells. And it's going to pull that skin together to keep it really tight and firm. And it's going to help rebuild collagen, rebuild elastin in the skin for more firm, tight, youthful skin. I use it every day on my neck, my decollete. I use it, of course, on my face as well. Um, but this is one of our newer, fairly newer products. Um, Firming serum, it's amazing. And I think I don't know, Maria, if there were other questions about it, because I think someone said, I want to know about the firming serum. Firming serum is awesome with growth factor on the neck and chest. Absolutely. Um, and then, do, 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 I think that's it, firming serum. And the DEJ stands for dermal epidermal junction. So it kind of makes yep. everything tighter. <laughs> Pulls it together. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's a generic example of like the peanut butter, but it makes sense because if you think of two slices of bread and the peanut butter and how it's like, yeah. and then if you try and peel those pe those pieces of bread apart, that's exactly kind of a good example of what it how does. How much is it, Diane? Do you remember? 235. There you go. Yep. And that's this that's is a, a, that's a, that's a size, you I think. Yes, this one's a travel size. So the other size is size twice the size. This big. This is the the size yeah. of the full size, um, and then this would be like yeah. the travel size. So this is, oops, <laughs> it's this is an ounce, and this is one point seven ounces. Um, right. The gross factor source. Yes. AM and PM. Someone asked AM and PM. Yes, you can use it AM and PM absolutely. Yeah. And then, does it minimize the pores? Um. Well, it does essentially because what happens over time as we age and we lose elasticity in our skin, our pores start to pull apart. And that's why as we get older, you tend to have larger pores for that reason because you're losing the elasticity in the collagen in our skin. So yes, it's going to help tighten as well as firm. But then we also have a um, pore refiner, which is specifically for larger pores. That's another product. And a, a, a retinol is always, or retinoid is always a great answer for yep. size. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen it improve lines around the mouth? Um, it's- Oh, yeah. 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 And it's, yeah. We have before and after pictures. We had talked about putting some slides up and whatnot, but um, we kind of tried to streamline it based on just the amount of time, but we do have amazing before and afters. The um, folds right here, the jowls right here, you definitely see a difference in the befores and the afters with use of this product. And the lines around the mouth too, that would be more of a retinoid yep. too. That, you know. yep. And then Jennifer, to answer your question, our growth factor serum is a plant-based. It is not a human yep. growth factor. So yes. Hmm. What product ladies support? Data products. Um, once again, I would suggest um, Haley is asking me three top products. Um, oh Lord! <laughs> uh, I so hard. Oh. What are your okay, Luba? You tell your favorites, or I don't know if it's favorites or what you would recommend as top products. Okay, if I had to, I mean, I don't know. It would still be the kit. The the Gate and Skin Ready Kit with four products. If you want to three top, I I don't know. It's I would add maybe um, Wrinkle and Texture Repair at night, Daily Power Defense. But then, how do you live without pads and a scrub and a cleanser? I mean, you can't. It's hard. I think the reason we're hesitating to answer that question is for two reasons. This is from my standpoint. Um, because 
ZO is so protocol specific. If someone comes to the office and has severe hyperpigmentation and sun damage and brown spots, that directs us to go into more of like a hyperpigmentation category, a brightening category. If someone comes in and is concerned with fine lines and wrinkles, we can talk Botox, filler, different things that way, plus obviously anti-aging products, retinols, growth factor serums. Um, if someone comes in and just has questions about basic, then we can go to getting skin ready, which everybody should be on just that getting skin ready. So it's kind of like, those are the bookends. You're getting skin ready with your cleanse, polish, oil control. Then your treatment goes in the middle. So if we're treating fine lines and wrinkles, you're going to do retinol or growth factor. If you're treating hyperpigmentation, you're going to do brighteners or hydroquinone. So it really just depends on what lies in the middle. And then at the end is going to be sunscreen and daily power defense and whatnot. So um, I don't know. I'd have to say, I'm going to plug in my computer because it's about to it's, die. It's just so hard. It's, it's like it's so hard. I mean, I think exfoliating polish is amazing because no matter what you're using, no matter what your age, no matter how, um, what your skin is, that product is going to help get rid of the layer of the dead skin cells for better penetration of product. So polish is amazing. Um, sunscreen is essential just because that is a preventative. Um, I personally, my favorites are, I use getting skin ready. I use firming serum and I use growth factor. Um, and then at night I pump it up with retinols because my concern is anti-aging. Yeah. But that's also because I've already done brightening protocols to help with my pigment. So again, it doesn't mean you're always going to stay in the same category because as we age and as seasons change and stress and hormones, like sometimes after the summer, I might put on more brightening ingredients because I've been in the sun, even though I try not to. Yeah. So it really, it's really depends. Um, did that answer the question? Because I danced around that yeah, crazy well. way, I think. I think you did good. I also think that, you know, it depends too. We, we live in Michigan and we're kind of sun deprived in the winter time too. And so, yeah. you know, people tend to spend a lot of time in their boats at the lake outside. Um, so, you know, your summer protocol will be very, very different from your winter protocol. And we have a lot of patients who kind of have fun in the summer and then they come back in the winter and they try to repair all of that damage that has been done to the exactly. skin. So that would be different too. But kind of what we talked about today is just your absolute basic, basic, basic. It's just maintenance. It just kind of, you know, nothing that's going to create a lot of crazy anticipated reactions. You're not going to be, you know, your face is not going to fall off and grow back <laughs> new and fresh. Right. This is just a very basic, very safe, gentle protocol. Right. And we just kind of wanted to. And I think one of the things that I say to all of my patients or clients that I work with, there are so many different options for everybody. Everybody's different. Um, and, and you can come into the office and you can have, you know, lasers, chemical peels, like I said earlier, filler, Botox. There's so many different in-office treatments that you can come in and have done but you have to go home with some sort of maintenance product. It's like going to the dentist, getting your teeth whitened, and then not using a whitening teeth cleaner through the next six months. You, it's, it's like going to the gym. You buy a membership, you hire a trainer, you get in good shape, but then you're going to eat crappy. So it's, it's just a continual maintenance, and there's multiple things. I think someone asked, do we come to the office for a consult or call? I think, yes, you have to call. Just because, and I can't answer that better than you guys. You're in the office. So you tell them what you'd like. Call the office to schedule yeah, a consult, can, right? With Luba? You can call, schedule a consultation. Um, hopefully, we're going to be oh, open Haley, soon. It, Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, but it's, this line is, once again, the, you know, the products that are meant to address particular issues, they really need to be explained and they really need to be kind of, you know, individualized. And um, it's not something that you would just grab off, you know, offline and then go into town with it because it's not going to be pleasant. You're not going to like it. You're going to be very disappointed. So it's really needs to be explained. It's a very complicated line. It's I think it's one of the most difficult lines that I've ever worked with, especially in the beginning. Once you, you know, continue to work with it and see 
the changes in the skin, it makes sense because it's also very kind of, um, it's a smaller line. The products make sense. They're very, like I said, result driven. But at first it's like, I felt like I was learning a different language all over again. It was just very, it was complicated. <laughs> And that for you, Luba, you had to learn the inside and the out, the every single solitary ingredient, the FXCC, the hows, the whys. So for you guys as patients, we're the experts. We have the knowledge and the power, not the power, but the knowledge and the education. So we can help guide you into right. the proper protocol. Yeah, so it doesn't have yeah. to be complicated. but And you have to, you know, and we do a lot of explaining and kind of, you know, we always, all of the estheticians here, we're always available via email or phone call. And we always encourage our patients to contact us and say, hey, Luba, you know, I've been using this for two weeks and this is happening. Is this normal? You know, we really would like you to do that because we can adjust things. We can, you know, suggest something else and the way how to use it because there's so much creativity too that goes into using of the products that um, it just kind of makes it easier for you. And right. that way you, you know, stick with it. So it was so nice to spend um, the morning with you guys and wow. now noon. And I hope everybody is doing well and everyone is healthy and um, hanging there. And please let us know if you would like us to do another webinar and dive deeper into, um, you know, specific anti-aging products and those protocols. And we would be happy to put something else together for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diane, for joining us. And I thank you for having me. It was fun. And they will definitely... Um, before we wrap up, I know if there's any questions, um, I know as I've watched the comments, if there's anything that you need product-wise, you can order it off of the Bankston's website. Um, and then we will definitely let you know about future um, webinars. Because there have been a lot of really, really great questions yes. um, that we can dive a little deeper into, you know, specific categories. So good to see the familiar good. names. And um, if, yeah. if you guys decide to... Oh, hey, Amber. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Um, we are providing curbside pickups, so our phones are open. You can um, call 616-588-8880 and order products and stop in and pick them up. Um, you don't you don't have to come in. It's all outside the door, and um, our front desk uh, people are amazing, and they usually are pretty good at answering questions too and then if they don't know something they will contact myself or somebody else and we'll get you the correct answer take care guys it was great to see you enjoy thank you, everybody be well thank you